Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. Today is day 39. So yesterday we worked through designs and we actually created a pre-listing packet from the listing presentation. Today we're going to go in and actually create the second half of that, what I would recommend as a listing presentation at your listing appointment. So to do that, we're going to come into our designs applet here on the left hand side, so with a little paintbrush on it. We're gonna click on the plus sign at the bottom right to start a new print asset. We're gonna click on print and then next. That's gonna connect us into the WeBrand editor where we can choose our template. We're gonna choose listings, listing presentation, and we've been working with this second version of the listing presentation. So we're gonna click on use, and that will allow us to start choosing what we want to uh, utilize of all of the templates here on the left-hand side. Remember, like I said yesterday, these are all individual one-page templates. We are gonna combine these into a multi-page document here on the right-hand side. So we need to start off with page number one. It's identical to yesterday's. However, it's just gonna be the introduction, right, of our actual listing presentation. Moving down from there, I think we need to get a property profile page. So we're going to click on this one, which would talk about their actual listing and their house. We're going to get a market snapshot page, which is the next one. And then we're going to bring in comparable properties. And for me, honestly, guys, that's it. I'm going to have my actual CMA for my MLS uh, attached to this underneath. And then I'll probably have printouts of every single property included as a comp so they can see the pictures and those types of things. But as far as my actual listing presentation, I'm of the thought of less is more. Uh, I'm going to assume that they've read my pre-listing packet. If not, I'll have a copy with me and I can certainly go through my open house strategy, my marketing plans, my numbers, all the things that are included in that document. And yet as far as actually creating a listing packet, this is really going to be at five pages plus my supplemental documents from my MLS. So let's go back to uh, page number one. Essentially, we're just going to make simple edits on that one. We made the same ones yesterday. Uh, so we're going to change the name to the names of the client. We're going to change our DBA name to our name, our logo for our Keller Williams Market Center. We're going to change our name, our information here and our profile. So we did all of that yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next page. Uh, again, remember, if you want to see all of the pages, click on this pages box here. It always gives you a blank page for number one. I always just delete that. And now I'm going to go to page number two. And I'm going to collapse this so that I can get to the second page, right? So we'll get on to that page. This is our market snapshot page. No, I'm sorry, it's not. Now we're at page number two. This is a page of their actual property. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in and change the address. Uh, 1050 Heather Lane is not the address, so we're actually going to look at what it would look like if we were listing my house. So we're going to change the address by just clicking on each one of those blocks separately and putting in the uh, 2422 Long Lake Circle. Sorry, guys. A little bit of sleep deprivation going in there. Couldn't remember my own address. All right, so I've got a uh, Fawn Lake Circle, my number here. The number overlaps the street, so we're just going to click on the number. We're going to drag that down just a little bit so that it looks professional. There we go. And then we're going to come in, right, and we're going to know the number of bedrooms and bathrooms on this actual property. So we could come in and we would just change that. Ours is actually a four bedroom, two bath house, and it is 2309 square feet. And if I have the history of my property, I can put that in. When did I actually last sell the property? Um, so let's just say, we'll just leave that there last sold. So when did they actually last sell their property? If you don't have that information, feel free to remove it. We'll click on save changes. <clears throat> Next, you've got this kind of stock photo of the back of the house here. If you have a photo of the front of their house that you can pull from their MLS, great. We're going to go in, in that case to images. We would click on add. We would drag and drop. So we would go find that actual logo, <clears throat> excuse me, and bring that in. Now I don't have a picture of the front of my house. And so I could go with this stock photo, but I actually go like going into my library, or excuse me, company. I'm gonna choose house types and I'm gonna go all the way down to the very end. This is just a nice way to kind of put a custom touch on this. If you'll see, here's one that actually has a for sale sign on it and it's blank. So I'm gonna replace that image with the house for sale sign. Then I'm gonna come back up to logos 
and I'm gonna bring in my actual team logo, and I'm gonna drop that on the for sale sign. I think that's just a nice little kind of marketing touch that you know reminds them who you are and ultimately what that sign's gonna look like when you do get it in their front yard. So I'll resize the logo and get it to fit, and there we go. Next, we wanna start looking at the information that's included on this page. So it says your home is 10% larger than the average property sold in Barton Hills. I basically have the opportunity when I am in my MLS, so I can do a couple of things. One, what I did was I did a comparative market analysis for homes sold in my neighborhood of similar size over the last year, right? Not of similar size, all homes that were sold in my neighborhood over the last year. And I can come down and you can see, all right, here are all the homes that sold and the average square footage is 2452. And that's the average square footage of all the homes that have sold over the last year in my neighborhood. I then looked at the square footage of my property, which is 2309. I did the math, 2452 minus 2309. That's a difference of uh, 143 or 5.8%. So in this case, I would come in and actually say, your home is, and it's 5.8%, and it's not larger. My home is actually smaller than the average property sold in and then I would just put in Fawn Lake, which is the name of my neighborhood. And I can click on save changes there. Your home does have the average number of bedrooms. So the average on my comp was four bedrooms. That's correct. The average is two full baths and one half. So I'm gonna leave that. Your home has one more bathroom. That's not correct. So I would come into the typewriter and I would say your home has the average number of bathroom or has the average how did they put that on the other one let me save that real quick uh your home is your home has the average number of bedrooms compared to the average property so your home has the average number of bathrooms compared to the average property your home has the average number of bathrooms compared to all right and then we're going to change barton hills to fawn lake one more time there we go and we might want to just space that down so that looks good there we go and space save changes <clears throat> if it doesn't fit again just drag that bar out a little bit more to kind of make it look a little bit better uh, let's actually just put it all on one line and let the system do it so we can do that as well and then it'll kind of put it together uh, we can bring that back in just a touch and then we're going to scroll pull this paragraph down just a touch Based on this information and the condition of your property, your home should command a slightly higher list price. It's probably gonna be just slightly lower since it is a smaller house. So I would just put slightly uh, lower list price and then we would again change that to Fawn Lake. So that's the quick and easy way. Again, you're gonna to wanna to have a comparative market analysis done and the tax information for that property so you know how big it is as compared to other properties. So that was pretty quick and easy. I've got the Your Property page done. Let's move to the next page, which talks about what's happening and a market snapshot. So this right here, this is actually a portion of command that we can bring in. It's called a market snapshot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna click on the market snapshot. And when I do that, you see I get the KWLS sign. I'm gonna click on KWLS, and then I'm gonna click on snapshots, and I'm gonna put in the name of the neighborhood as next door has it, which is actually Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes. <clears throat> there's that neighborhood. And when I click on it, you can see it starts to bring in the neighborhood snapshots. So I've clicked on this one for Barton Hills. I wanna replace it with the Fawn Lake Pine Lake one. I click on replace image and now all of a sudden I have that new market snapshot. <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys, my throat is killing me. So let's change out Barton Hills to Fawn Lake. And click on save changes. We'll have to space that out a little bit to get it to fit on one line. There we go. Move it over just slightly, formatting. So then we'll come into this one and we're going to, uh, here's their paragraph. Barton Hills is an extremely desirable neighborhood and it's attractive to young professionals and families moving to the area. You can kind of determine what you want this to say. I'm blessed in Houston that our HAR actually has a whole neighborhood setup. So if I come in to, oops, let me get out of that, HAR. I can go into neighborhoods, search by neighborhoods, and I can actually put in the name of the neighborhood that I'm looking for information on. And then I can kind of uh, I can cheat a little bit, honestly. I'm gonna take this paragraph right here, these two lines, 
I'm gonna copy that. So hopefully you have some way to kind of get some information uh, for this actual page. But that's what I'm gonna do is go into the typewriter. I'm gonna remove this, add in this, save changes, and then I'll move it up a little bit so that it fits. Okay, so there you can see that. Fawn Lake has 195 single family properties, median build year to 2003, median size. Um, that's a really long sentence. Let's make that a little clearer. Uh, and these home values. And I don't like the K. So there we go. We'll put that in. And you've got that information ready to go and formatted for that paragraph. So then it says over X time period, average list prices have increased by and average days on market. What I did is I ran a comparative market analysis for the last 12 months. And then I ran it for the 12 months prior to that. And then I'm basically just going to compare the two. So this is pretty easy to do in your MLS. Just run a comparative market analysis. So two years ago, you can see the average days on market was 107 and the average sold price per square foot was 105.13. If I come into the two, the most recent, there we go. You can see that the average days on market is actually 84 and the average price sold price per square foot is 118.28. So I can do that math and know that the days on market over the last year has decreased by 21% and the price per square foot has increased by 12.5%. So I can just come over here. I'm going to say over X time period, that's going to be over the last 12 months and save those changes. I can format that, bring that bar out. Average list price have increased by, let me just click on the paragraph. So average list price in my calculation was 5.8%. Days on market have decreased by 21%. Oh, it's not, it's, I'm sorry, 12.5%, not 5.8. There we go. So you'll want to do this just so you have that to kind of come in and fill in. And then it says the average price that homes in this area sell for uh, is higher than average list price. So I'm actually going to come back to my neighborhood and I'm going to get this information here, the median sold and we're going to copy that sentence and put that in so you can leave this in if it's accurate or kind of change what the average you know what the sentence says again it's just about providing them with data on their neighborhood so that you appear as the neighborhood ex uh, neighborhood expert finally you want to make sure that you change this barton hills to your neighborhood in that last paragraph <clears throat> so compare barton hills to fawn lake by downloading my app. What I did is I just opened a second version of command. I went into the consumer applet. I clicked on the URLs and then I'm gonna copy my URL, which is KWTYRWV. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna click here and typewriter that out, take out the X's KWTYRWV, right? Let's double check that KWTYRWV and that is correct. I'll save those changes and I can move on to the next page. This last page are the comps. So I could go through and look at the actual comparable properties. So we would go in, let's see, this is the most recent. Um, and I would just kind of choose probably four of the best comps, the ones that make the most sense. But let's just choose this first one. I'll show you what the process would be. So that's 6013 South Fawn Lake Drive. I wanna go back to listings. I'm gonna look up 6013 South Fawn Lake Drive, and I can find that address. So here that is here. If I click on select, I now have the ability, number one, to change out the photo. So let's replace that image. Number two, I'm gonna come in and change the address to 6013 South Fawn Lake Drive. Save those changes. And then I can also go through and I can click on listing details here. Now I have the details for this property. <clears throat> I'm gonna click on the keyboard and I'm gonna go through. I'm just gonna scroll down. So three bedrooms, three bedrooms, two baths. Okay, so that's actually two baths. Square footage, 2000. Nope, it's actually 2009. List price, 230. And then I would have to go into my CMA to see what it's sold for. So if I do that, I can see it sold for 233 in four days. Wow, it's pretty quick. So I would come in and say sold for 233 in four days. And that's how quickly and easily I can change that comp. I would do the exact same thing with three other comps, right? And if I have multiple comps, guys, there is a way to add a template more than once. 
So I have this page here now. Let's go back to the template and let's say I wanted to add another one. So now I have five pages. So you can see here's now page five. So here was page four, the one I just made the edits to. If you've got more than you know uh, four comps, feel free to add it a second time and use in the additional comps. And guys, that's it for me. With the listing presentation, um, oftentimes I'll even say, hey guys, I have a dog and pony show about all of my marketing. It was included in my pre-listing packet. Did you have a chance to review that? And if they say yes, great. Did you have any questions? No, fantastic. Just some quick highlights to recap. I'll hit maybe three or four really important things that I do in my marketing strategies that are you know, kind of winning moments. And then I take them into the actual, uh, you know, kind of discussing the comps and discussing their property and really start showing them the comparable properties. I'll pull out the full CMA that I have printed. Uh, usually I print a map from my, my MLS of the properties and then we'll start going through and we'll decide on a price from there. So now that this has finished, I can actually come up and retitle this to listing presentation. I would of course go in and download it. And then once I downloaded it, I would click on done. Here's the nice thing, just like I said yesterday, now I have a template for listing presentation right here, right? So I can now use this anytime I need to have another listing. And here's my pre-listing packet. So if I go on another appointment, all right, cool, I need to go into the pre-listing packet. I can just click on it from within my templates and easily change the name of the clients, right? So this is gonna change. But pretty much, remember on the pre-listing packet, this was the only thing that was specific. So now I can download that, print it off, ready to go. And then I would go back in and say, okay, now I wanna edit my listing presentation. And now I would just be a matter of going through the listing presentation bringing in the new stats, right? So I would have to bring in the new, um, you know, your home is bigger or smaller. I would bring in the market snapshot. I would then bring in the comps on one or two pages and I would be done. I would print my documents that I need from the MLS and I would roll from there. So that is a quick and easy way to create a listing presentation ready for your clients out of command, professional looking, sharp, uh, you know, formatted well, and uh, one that's really going to help you land more listing appointments. So that's it for today. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.